For most of the early days in your run, your blueprint cabinet will hopefully be busy upgrading a research desk. This means, unless you happen to get an extra blueprint cabinet, you won't be able to upgrade your appliances. Did you know that the starter sink and the starter hob are actually slower than the sink and hob that you see in the store? The starter sink and the starter hob work at 75% of the speed of the basic sink and hob. These are good things to buy early on, as well as the bigger plate stack and additional tables. These all cost only 20 coins but make a big difference in the beginning of your restaurant. Replacing the starter sink is great for both front of house and back of house. Back of house may need a sink for a water source. The cleaning speed does not affect recipes, so the servers can benefit from a faster sink on their side, and the cooks can move their starter sink to a more convenient place if desired. Note that the basic sink is shinier and has a darker faucet, while the starter sink is duller and has a huge dent in it. Replacing the starter hob with a basic hob will make the cook's life much easier. Longer cooking times means bigger messes. Because the basic hob cooks faster, cooking will produce smaller messes for the kitchen. Faster cooking times will increase overall production of food and get food out to the tables and customers out of the restaurant faster. Definitely worth the 20 bucks. Might as well buy two! Note that the oven is twice the speed of a regular hob. The oven produces no messes because it has a door. The oven is better than a basic hob, but adding an extra hob to your setup is definitely helpful if you can manage it. The starter hob and basic hob are easier to differentiate. The basic hob looks pretty slick, while the starter hob looks like it needs a good cleaning. Your sink and your hob will make the biggest difference in your kitchen. If you have empty cabinets, I definitely recommend upgrading these two items. Sinks have four possible upgrades, wash basin, dishwasher, soaking sink, and power sink. A wash basin can hold up to four dirty dishes at the same time. It also functions as an expensive dish rack. A dishwasher can wash four dishes automatically. Close the door to start the dishwasher. It's slower than washing dishes manually, but it allows you to do other things while the dishes are being cleaned. The dishwasher will not be fast enough for multiplayer restaurants, but it is very useful in solo runs. A soaking sink will automatically clean dishes. It will wash one at a time. They are very effective for automation. While they are more effective with grabbers and a dish rack, using a soaking sink in conjunction with your regular sink will double your dishwashing speed. A power sink will wash dishes twice as quickly as a basic sink will. Power sinks are great to have, especially if the restaurant has a dish rack. I recommend using either the power sink or the wash basin for multiplayer. For single player, I recommend either a power sink or double dishwashers until you can automate a dish cleaning system. Sinks have a cyclical upgrade order. Wash basin to dishwasher to soaking sink to power sink. A hob has two possible upgrades, safety hob or danger hob. A safety hob is 75% slower than a basic hob, but it will stop cooking the food. This means food will never burn on a safety hob. Having a safety hob gives the cook more freedom to do other things while the food is cooking. Safety hobs can be used to automate. If you have roast potatoes, a safety hob, and a grabber, you can safely cook the potatoes while you manage your restaurant. Danger hobs cook items at twice the speed of a basic hob. Danger hobs are the same speed as ovens without the inconvenience of the door. Don't worry too much about the danger part of the name. It just means when the food is done cooking, it will burn faster than items on regular or starter hobs would. Don't leave food unattended on danger hobs unless you know what you're doing. Some foods burn much faster than other ones do. Once you feel more comfortable with the cooking times, you can make a call on whether it's safe to run away from the hob. Danger hobs are really helpful for foods that take much longer to cook such as soups or mashed potatoes. 
Counters can be upgraded into freezers or workstations. Upgrading counters can also be helpful when you have foods like breakfast or pizza that take some time to set up in the morning. You can freeze it overnight and start serving right when the customers come in. Freezers are great for freezing mashed potatoes or soups, as these are both very time-consuming recipes to make in the morning. Counters also upgrade into workstations, which make chopping and kneading actions twice as fast. Any recipes that require a lot of chopping or kneading, such as salad, pizza, pie, dumplings, or stir-fry, can really benefit from having a workstation early on. There are plenty of other appliances to upgrade, but they tend to be more expensive or used in automation, which will be covered in a future video. For now, focus on upgrading your sink, hobs, and counters to help you get to overtime. Remember to prioritize upgrading your research area to ensure your overtime survival. And now for a quick recap. Replace your starter sink and starter hobs with a basic sink and basic hob. Prioritize upgrading your research area, but try to get extra cabinets in order to upgrade your sink, hob, and counters. Workstations are great for foods that require several things to chop or knead, such as dumplings, stir fry, pizza, pies, or salad. Try to get a freezer for foods that take extra time to set up in the morning such as mashed potatoes, soup, turkey, cookies, or sauces. For foods that cook quickly, such as hot dogs, hamburgers, or breakfast, get your sinks upgraded first. For foods that take a while to cook, such as fish or steak, upgrade your hobs. As a general rule, upgrade whatever you're losing the most time on. Do you have a lot of dishes everywhere? Are you wondering if you should call your restaurant Chop Till You Drop? Trust me, upgrading something won't wash all your worries away until you get slammed by bad RNG. Wait, what? Hey guys, got any questions? Got any suggestions? Let me know what you thought. Hope this helped. Later, taters. Have a good one. Bye.